On 17th of September 2021, Derby County, a founding member of the Football League, experiences one of the darkest days in its history as the club enters administration. Despite a 21 point deduction and heavy financial restrictions, players, staff, and fans pull together to battle against the odds. Unfortunately, it's not enough. And the club eventually succumbs to relegation to the third tier for just the third time in its history. Now more than ever, the staff, fans, and players have to prove they are one club, resilient, together. After months of growing uncertainty surrounding prospective new owners, and the real risk of the club ceasing to exist. Local businessman and lifelong Derby fan, David Klaus, steps in as Klaus Developments purchases both the club and Pride Park Stadium. There's three things that we look at. One is stability, um, we look at integrity and progress. And it's just an honour for me to represent the club and a privilege, you know, to be in this position to re represent Derby County. It, it, it's fantastic. With the club's long-term future now secured, staff from across the club come together to quickly prepare to move forwards for a new season. Within days, season tickets are on sale, and more than 20,000 are snapped up by fans keen to support the promising new era at Pride Park Stadium. Having only five contracted players, the squad is quickly assembled. Pitches are prepared and kits are ordered. Progress continues behind the scenes to ensure everything is ready for the opening day fixture against Oxford United. Change is well underway at Pride Park. Parahan. There it is. The new day dawns at Pride Park Stadium. After the low of the previous season, the high of Conor Howahan's opening day winner reignites the memories and dreams of what this club means to everyone connected with it. September sees the club appoint the charismatic Paul Warren as head coach. Paul, along with his coaching staff, brings a wealth of experience and promotion from the third tier, vital for the long-term project that lies ahead. I'd like to think that we've been brought in because of what we are as football coaches, but what we are as people. Everyone who knows me and knows my staff, like we'll, we'll literally give everything. I'd like to think you'll see a team with a real integrity. I'd like to think they'll be relentless. I'd like to think they'll be fearless. They'll be brave on the ball. And a togetherness, which I think they already have, but a real drive to succeed. The change at Derby County continues to progress off the pitch too, with the club announcing a new partnership with children's charity, the NSPCC. The charity's logo will appear on the front of the first team squad shirts for the remainder of the 2022-23 season. David Klaus is keen to stress that the name of the front of the club's shirts should not simply be a commercial decision, but one taken with a consideration of what is right for both the club and its supporters. We took the decision that we wanted to give something back to the community. The NSPCC is the country's leading children's charity who've got a proven track record and impact on a local basis, but also do it across the whole of the country. The award-winning work of Derby County Community Trust continue to be at the heartbeat of the local community throughout both COVID and the club's administration. In November, the Trust celebrated the opening of a new community corner at Pride Park Stadium, named after the late Rams FA Cup winner and local community hero, Reg Harrison. 
So what we've been able to do within this space is provide such a huge range of opportunities for people and we're most proud of the work we've done over the winter with the cost of living crisis, being able to open this as a warm welcome space where people have been able to come and make their food bank donation or have a hot meal um, or simply just spend time inside away from everything that might be going on in their outside worlds. It's been a sanctuary for people to come in, take a break, have a cup of tea and talk to some of our amazing staff. In March, it is announced that Derby County will fully integrate the women's first team into the main club from the start of the 23-24 season as part of a major expansion of its support for the women's game. Alongside this, the club also opens a dedicated women's hub at its Moore Farm Training Centre and sees a record attendance at Pride Park Stadium for the fixture against Forest. We've felt part of it for a couple of seasons now um, in terms of the support that we've had obviously training down here and this is probably just the, the next step really to, uh, to have our own facility where the girls can come together. With a number of academy graduates now a key part of Paul Warren's first team, the hard work continues across the academy age groups to produce the next batch of homegrown first team players ready for seasons yet to come. And Derby have a deserved lead, courtesy of Darren Robinson. From the brink of extinction to battling for promotion, the famous black and white of Derby County has come a long way in 10 months, both on and off the pitch. New approaches to support or engagement reaching even further into local communities, increasing support of the women's game, developing the next generation of talent, inviting to be the very best at what we do together. A new era at Derby County is well underway. <laughs>